Earth system modeling is uh, the idea of having a, a field of science that deals with the different connections that happen across the different spheres of Earth, if you will. So you, one can think of, of the hydrosphere, so everything that is related to water. One can think of the atmosphere, of course, uh, but there's also other things like the biosphere and the elements that have to do with, with carbon cycling and, and life itself. And the type of work that we do in, in the simulation and data lab has to do with the intersection of Earth system modeling, in particular what corresponds to, to the processes that are related to the surface of the Earth in terms of ecology, hydrology, and so on, and uh, supercomputing. Within the Deep Sea Project, we participate uh, with a particular application, a particular, particular type of Earth system model, which is called the Terrestrial Systems Modeling Platform, or TSMP for short. Um, and TSMP is essentially uh, what we call a regional Earth system model. Its focus is at the continental scale or below, not at the global scale. Um, and in particular, what TSMP intends to achieve is uh, to have an integrated modeling approach for the processes spanning the subsurface, the surface of the Earth, and the atmosphere. We have to basically represent very complex physics, very complex chemistry. Uh, we want to represent biological processes and formulate them in a mathematical way somehow. And then these have to go into a computer and get solved. And for us to actually achieve usable information, we need to, uh, on the one side, inform our models with sufficient data. That's first challenge uh, that we have to collect from numerous data sources, from field studies to satellite imagery, for example. And on the other hand, we, act to, we have to actually be able to manage this data and have sufficient compute power to crunch through, through it and obtain usable uh, information. Our role in Deep Sea is twofold in, in that sense. One is to, uh, from the application point of view, to be one step ahead in the upcoming technology that we can expect that we will have in, in computing systems in the future uh, so that we can harness it as soon as possible. The other role that I would say we play in the Deep Sea project is the co-design role. Since we are an application which potentially can see benefits in using many of these developments that are happening in, in the Deep Sea project. So we've picked a few of these different elements such as modular supercomputing architectures. We've also taken up the idea of having energy efficiency computation, so performance analysis on the fly. And we're exploring these ideas uh, to see if we can incorporate them into our into our workflows, uh, what is the potential benefit that they may have, and how they also contribute to, to improving the performance of the overall system and provide at the same time, uh, which is the really important part of code design, to provide at the same time feedback to the, to the developers of this software in how we can benefit from it, what else do we need uh, to see in this software that it really becomes very usable and perhaps an indispensable tool for us. I think one of the key aspects that uh, a project like DeepSea attempts to achieve through this co-design effort and through involving applications is to try to put applications in front of the curve and not having them behind the curve so that we can, at the very least, have a high level of efficiency use of these systems as soon as they become available and not that we achieve that efficiency many years after they become available.